So once you have this, similarly you can calculate the proportion okay, or probability. The only difference now is you replace this one with the mean of the sample, replace the standard deviation with the standard error of mean. So this type, this is a question that you ask for observation, correct? Okay. You just modify a bit. You can ask a similar question for your sample. So this is how it looks like. So previously you asked what is the proportion of observation eh? in the population is greater than 165 cm. Okay? Where the population parameter is 165 mean and also the one standard deviation. Okay? The standard deviation is 1 cm. So now the question is, what is the probability? It's not a proportion, eh? it's a probability. It's very similar, okay? Of drawing a sample of nine students from a population. See? So these are different things. Because this is a observation, right? This is a sample and a sample with an N. And finding that the mean of this sample okay, is greater than 164 cm. Okay. And remember, you have to, this one you have to recalculate using this formula. Eh? Okay. So for Z test, Z test is used when you know the population parameter. When you know the population parameter. So that's the reason why if you are sitting in the exam, if you are sitting in the exam, you need to read the question carefully. Here they say, in a population, right? From a population, and the population parameter are given. So in this case, you should use the Z test. Okay? If they, this, these two things are not given, then you have to use the T test. Okay? Good sample is very important because you can have a good estimate for the population parameter. So the type of estimation, just like the, the observation estimation that you learned before from a, a distribution of observation, is a can be a point estimate or the interval estimate. Okay. So for the point estimate, is the proportion of the distribution mean. What is, what is the probability of drawing a sample of nine students from the population and finding the mean of this sample is greater than 164 cm? Okay, this is an example of point estimate. Okay. So that means that this is your sampling distribution, okay? And this is your sample that you're interested. And what is the probability to draw a sample with the mean greater than 164? That means this one. Okay? What you need to do is just calculate the Z value, then get the P value. The P value is on this side, right? And then y1 minus this value. You will get this. Okay. This is a point estimate. Okay. Same formula. Okay, you can do this calculation. Yeah. Okay. Then for interval estimate, still the same formula. Okay, but you have to do it slightly different. So the question is the same. The only difference is this one. They want to find not the not, not, not what's the probability to get a sample larger than 164, but what is the probability to get a sample where the sample mean is between 164 and 166. Okay? So what they are interested in is this part. Okay? So for calculation you have to calculate separately. Okay? You have to calculate the probability of this side. And then the probability of this side. Okay. And then because the total is one, you just use one minus this side and this side, then you will get this. Okay? Yeah. Then now you know why it's a probability already. 99%. It's very high. Of course. I mean, yeah. Because the population mean is 165, right? And this interval in estimate actually is, is something to do with the confidence interval. You might heard about confidence interval. Actually, this is what we call the confidence interval. 
So the question that they ask is this way, but actually you can interpret it in another way, in the in the in the context of confidence interval. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to discuss more about confidence interval in the next lecture. Okay. So now I think you have some understanding why is the difference between the population ensemble, okay, different population type, why you need to uh, do the sampling, why the sampling is so important, how to get a good sample, and how you can use the sample to estimate the population parameter. And you also be able to describe the importance of the inferential statistic. So now actually you infer the population parameter by using the sample statistic. And understand the concept of the sampling distribution. Okay? And calculate the probability and draw a probability of drawing a sample from a population, how to calculate it. <coughs>